Okay, I want to do just a quick video on showing people how to farm the blood bags uh, a lot quicker than running actually through the swamp every time. So, because you need so many blood bags for your, your higher end foods, what you do, instead of going through the swamp, because they don't seem to be as many, what you do is you go all along the edges. And I've had them as many as 12 in one shot following me. Like I just run along here and a bunch will follow me and then I'll let them catch up and then I'll just go in and one shot them all. And there's a little technique to farming them too. See, see how they're biting? So you wait for them to bite and then you go in and hit them. That way you won't get poisoned. And then you come over here and do the same. Get over the water. He's doing, see, see how he's making that noise? Boom. Just wait, go in, hit him. And then just continue on running down through here. Oh, there's another one. Level two. So he'll give you, he gave up three blood bags. I found that this is by far the fastest way to farm them. And you need so many. Like when you start, there's another one right here. When you start farming the food, it's blood pudding that it's required for. Like you may not, all, whoops, ah, come on. You may not always use blood pudding, but like I use blood pudding, serpent stew, lox meat pie. And uh, fish wraps. Fish wraps is very time consuming though. So right here, and there's the blood pudding. But when I'm out hunting, like, and I'm doing speed runs to gather food, I use all stam food. Obviously, everybody knows what that means. And then this way, you can just run along here as fast as possible and find them. And they're fairly easy to hear. You can hear them. Like, I, I already farmed this out the other day, so I'm surprised there's some more stuff here, but they do respawn. These guys are a bit annoying, but, oh, there's one right there. I can hear him, there he is. So again, like I've been here, like what, five minutes maybe? There's another one right here. He seems to be trapped under the ground or something. Oh, there he is. Again, just pick a new bio like the swamp area and just rotate them so come down through here the same one and a lot of times when I'm when I'm farming I terraform the land too I just go like this as I run along that way you don't get stuck in the water like I said I've already farmed this out the other day so it seems to replenish itself there's a blob Well, anyways, that's what you do for the blood pudding bags, or blood pudding ingredients. It's the blood bags that go in it. So we'll we'll leave it at that. If there's any questions, like like I said, just pick a new swamp area, and I have three or four that I use. I just keep rotating them. And oh, what happened there? I just keep rotating them around and going back through. So every couple of days I come back and. I've had them, like I said, as many as 12 at a time following me along the shore. There's one there. Just like that. Easy stuff, but much quicker. And you know exactly where you're going because you draw from both sides that way too. Like there's might be one there and might be one in there or two or three on this side or two or three on that side and you, you pull them all into groups and you just run around and farm them as quick as possible and plus you you need to come here for thistle weed anyways and uh, I did a video on how to farm thistle weed in the black forest you might want to check that out it's it shows you how to get lots of thistle weed in a short amount of time as well like this isn't even a lot, it just seems to be kind of sporadic right now. Get out of here. There's another one. See it? And they can follow you faster because there's 
no interruptions like they don't have to go over land or nothing they just they just kind of cruise through the depths of the water faster as well I'm gonna go around this way so they seem to be they seem to move a bit faster when there's no obstructions oh I hear one right there No, oh, I'm lucky I didn't get bit there. I would have stand too. Whatever. You don't want to waste your time fighting those guys anyways. They're useless. You get nothing for bone right now. Just make little bridges. Anything just to speed up the process. See them right there. Two of them. Three of them. See. One's a purple, so you know he's gonna he's gonna give you a, a few extras. Uh, there's one. Get out of here. There should be. There was three. Just so. Uh, there they are. There. So you just picked up five, six bags. Like if if you're not high, like. If you don't have end game, oh, there's one right behind me. Ah, I'm poisoned. Anyways, always have a poison, po poison potion with you in here. Let me just clear this crap out. Yeah, yeah, bud. Okay, make sure we get all those blood bags. Another one. Oh, three. Look at that. See? They're just popping up like crazy. Oh, looks like I might... Nope. So, like 30 in 10 minutes. How long is the video going? 7 minutes right now, so... Like I said, you're still, you're still kind of patrolling the inside of the swamp as well. Bone mass is up. Oh, stop it. There's another lich right there. Leech. Another one coming. See that? I'm going to get bit again. Come on. Get over here. Thank you. 32. Looks like bone mass is up. I must have summoned them and left. Maybe. I don't know. There's another leech right there. Anyways, I'll leave it there for now. Um, I'm going to do uh, a quick video on fishing tips because there, there's a way to do speed fishing too.